Hi everyone, uh, this is another game I played with Raymond last Monday and I'll analyze the game. I play with white and Raymond plays with black. It was a short game, we just uh, have a basic opening with developing some pieces, the knights are developed, um, bishop comes out and here uh, Raymond creates a uh, first union. So with making this union, Raymond opens the line for the queen. I'll play my queen forward, the bishops both uh, come forward a bit, and here Raymond creates a union with the pawn. So immediately you can see there's a little chain here. Um, I castle, Raymond plays the, the bishop uh, to h3. So I play my queen here to possibly come in here. But uh, already I think I'm a little bit uh, underdeveloped with my pieces. Raymond castles. I play my rook to d1 to possibly create a union with the queen and uh, yeah, to, to defend with that a little bit. And then Raymond makes a nice move, releases the queen and places queen on d4. So now he also has his rook in there on d3. And yeah, he's got a lot of uh, opp opportunities and combinations. So I uh, create a union with the queen, try to um, yeah, fix some, st some stuff. But uh, now the first nice combination is there, which Raymond makes. He releases the queen, which releases the pawn, which releases the rook, which releases the knight, and the knight comes to f3. I'll show you one more time. So basically the knight releases the queen, queen releases pawn, pawn releases rook, rook goes back to where the knight now is, and the knight jumps to f3. Three, four, five. Check. Now I cannot create a union with my pawn with this knight because this knight can be released via the queen and uh, towards the king. So the 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 other knight on on f6 can release the queen, can release the knight, and create a union with the king. So the only option for now for me is to move my king aside. Now Raymond moves the bishop to g2, and this is also a very nice move because. With that, he creates uh, a chain reaction towards the rook. Rook uh, releases the queen. Now the knight has gone away from f3. Uh, the queen can release the bishop and the bishop can go to the king. So again, this is a check. So um, I have to uh, solve this. Now I cannot move this union forward because then still the knight can release the rook. Uh, at the same time opens the line for the queen. Uh, the queen can be released and the queen could go to the king. So I decide to create a union with this knight. Now Raymond makes the next move. He places the knight-bishop combination to e1. And with this he again creates a very nice combination. Of course this knight can release the queen, can go to the bishop and to the king. Um, and the second thing, I cannot play this union forward, of course, because this uh, knight to queen will still exist. I cannot place the queen, uh, my pawn forward, because there's obviously another pawn blocking it. And if I would put this pawn in between, then he can still go to the queen. The queen can go to the uh, knight and the knight can go to the bishop and to the king. So in this situation... Uh, yeah, and the last option could be actually creating a union with this knight, but this knight is covered by the pawn on g d g7, so that's also not an, an option. So my only option at this moment is uh, moving my king aside. So I, I thought I was safe now, because I thought Raymond would jump in with the knight, and that didn't do much. But Raymond also has the pawn, and he makes a very nice combination with the pawn, I'll show you. Uh, he releases the rook. Now the rook goes to the queen. Now this rook is important because uh, the queen goes to the bishop. The bishop goes back to the rook. And this rook can go um, a vertical to the knight, release the knight, and the knight goes to the queen. And the queen creates a union with the king. A dance with the king. Pazzo Raymond. A very short game. Raymond plays very assertive and I was a little bit uh, shy in this game. So... Uh, good win for Raymond. If you like this video, please follow my YouTube channel and Twitch account. Look for the links in the subscription below.